Now that you've finished the turtle tree recipe, let's go over it one more time, just to see the concepts we've learned. Let's start with line 1. Line 1 says to move the tortoise the current length of the branch. The moving part is easy, but the current length of the branch is a bit harder. For now, let's just put a fake number in, like 100. It works, but we can't delete that line yet. 1.2, or 11, says that the current branch length equals 60. So let's highlight the 100 down in the move and refactor it so that it is a local variable. Now if we move that line up and change 100 to 60, we'll have our answer. Great, we can delete both lines. Line 2 says to extract a method, and that's because there are three of them. So let's highlight from line 13 down to the end of the draw branch recipe and extract it as a method. We can delete all the line 2's, and this should do the same thing as before. Line 3 says to turn the tortoise 30 degrees to the right. This we should know how to do. Good, we can delete that line. Line 4 says to call draw branch. But instead of putting length in the parentheses, we want to say length minus 10. Weird. But this is in fact what we want it to do. Once it got down to zero, it just did negative numbers. We can delete line four. Line six says to use an if. The condition is that length is greater than zero. and we want the brackets to go around the rest of the recipe. That way, we won't have negative lengths. Good, it stops at 10. We can delete line 6. Line 7 is another three-parter, so we're going to extract another method. This should do the same thing. And now we can delete all line 7s. Line 8 says to turn the tortoise 60 degrees to the left. We can delete line 8. Line 9 is another three-parter, so we're going to extract another method. This should do the same thing, and then we can delete all the line nines. Line 10 says to recall draw shorter branch. If we run that, it should work. If you're confused by this, don't worry, it's how it's supposed to look. You get the idea. We can delete line 10. Line 11 says to make the tortoise go as fast as possible, which should be a bit of a relief. Now line 12 says to move the tortoise backward the length of the current branch. 
So basically, what it's saying is the tortoise should move a negative length. Still weird, but closer. Line 13 says to turn the tortoise 30 degrees to the right. That looks more like a tree. Line 14 says that a 60 pixel long branch is saddle brown. Hmm. Well, we know how to make things saddle brown. Now all we need to say is that this only happens if a branch is 60 pixels long. So around that tortoise set pen color, let's put an if. Now our condition is the length of the branch equals 60 pixels. But we can't just say one equals because that would be setting it. We have to say getting it, which in equals is two equals. Let's run it. Now that worked, so we can just use the same model for the next five colors. Now, line 16 is pulling out another method, so let's do that really quick. Great, it does the same thing. Now we can delete all the line 16s. Line 17 wants us to call adjust color one more time. This should do the same thing. We can delete line 17 and go through the rest of the colors really quickly. Great, we only have one thing left to do. Line 22 says to turn the background black. Now the main object we've been using in here is tortoise, so let's try that. There is nothing to set the background window, but we can get it. Now let's separate with another dot. And set the color to black. And there you have it, the finished turtle tree. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, go to teachingkidsprogramming.org.